Hello everyone, and welcome to another My Time at Porsche video. Today I'm going to be talking a bit about data disks. Data disks are relics that contain records of data from the old world. The Research Center and the Church of Light are very interested in data disks, but for separate reasons. Petra and Merlin seek to learn as much as they can about the old world technology, while Nora and Lee fear that the information contained on the disks may cause more harm than good. Depending on the amount of data disks you provide Petra, she will discover a blueprint using the information she finds on the disks. After a few days of decoding the disk, she will send you a blueprint and you will be free to craft the new item. There are currently four recipes that require five data disks, two recipes that require ten data disks, and one recipe that requires twenty. The first recipe we'll talk about is the Civil Furnace. The Civil Furnace is a direct upgrade from the regular furnace, allowing the player to smelt anything up to iron ore. The Civil Furnace can hold up to 40 wood as fuel and cuts the processing time of a regular furnace by one-fifth. The furnace can run for about 40 hours before needing to be refueled. Next up is the Cooking Set. The Cooking Set is a crafting station that allows players to mix together different cooking ingredients to make dishes. It's a bit different from other crafting stations in that you directly place items from your hotbar into the pot. It works a lot like the Breath of the Wild cooking from Zelda, and food created this way often has extremely useful status restoring or buffing effects. You'll need to experiment to find out what ingredients mix together, or you can check on the wiki for all currently known recipes. Another 5 data disc blueprint is the fish display. The fish tank allows players to keep fish they've caught while fishing as pets. Simply place the fish you've caught on your hotbar and add them to the tank. But as with any animal, the fish will need to be fed or they will die. A fish's current choice of fish food is dough, which can be made at the next device we'll talk about, the blender. The blender allows players to grind resources into pulp after a short period of time. Players can make juices, grind soil into fertilizer, and mix wheat into flour and dough. In order to make some dough for our fish, we will first need to gather some wheat, which can be grown in small planter boxes or purchased directly from Sophie's farm. We also will need a bit of mucus, which can be dropped by ladybugs and snails. While we wait for our dough to finish blending, we'll move on to some of the 10 data disk diagrams. The first of which is the industrial cutter. The industrial cutter is a step up from the civil cutter and can cut almost anything. It can process wood, marble, and ingots and turn them into planks and plates. The industrial cutter can hold up to 5 power stones and can process even iron, wood, and steel. The industrial furnace is another 10 data disk diagram that is the next step up from the silver furnace that we just talked about. It holds up to 60 wood as fuel and can process anything up to manganese ore. The industrial furnace is even more efficient than the civil furnace and takes even less time to process materials. Checking back on our blender, we've successfully made a bit of flour that we can now turn into dough. The blender is quickly able to make dough, providing 10 dough for every 2 flour. And we now have the means to feed our fish in our fish display. Simply walk up to the display and feed the fish. Instead of using fuel to power the machines I've shown you, I've been using the 20 data disk diagram machine, the fire powered generator, which provides fuel to any machines connected to it by conductive wood flooring. If you would like a more in-depth look at fire powered furnaces, be sure to check out my generator guide. As of version 4.0, these are all the diagrams that the player can receive from Petra's research. In addition to research, data disks can be exchanged at the Church of Light shop. The player can purchase large planter boxes in which they can grow trees. And the store also exchanges seeds for data disks. For example, three data disks can be exchanged for an apricot tree seed. These trees will continue to produce multiple times and all have different designs. And those are currently the main uses of data disks within the current version of My Time at Portia. I hope you found this video helpful, and happy adventuring everyone!